Dave, I think you described it best in your post-match interview on Tuesday. A monumental effort from everyone. A lot of tired legs, I'm sure, since then. But how much of a boost does a win like that, a performance like that, give you? Um, obviously, it gives a, gives, a, gives a big boost at a time when, to be honest, we probably don't need many huge boosts because we're in a, we're in a great place. Um, but just in terms of the, the, the performance, I suppose you look at it, um, against a, a team that are a really strong team, a team that are up near the top of the table. There can be potential criticism of us in the fact that um, the teams that potentially we've played up to now, team, people would expect us to expect us to beat. Um, football's not that predictable, not that easy. Um, so to put in a performance as we did against a good team like that and win in the manner that we did um, is massively, massively pleasing. Speaking to you before the game and, and the other coaching staff as well, it, it was very clear what the plan was, was going to be. It was to be, press them high, be aggressive, pin them back. Uh, and it's exactly what happened. How pleasing is it as a manager when you, you put a plan in place, you work on it in training uh, and see it come off so effectively on the match day? Yeah, that's, that's the ideal. Um, ultimately, you rely on players going out and committing to doing that um, and accepting the potential um, benefits you get from it, but also the potential pitfalls that are, that are out there. If you if you go and play against a team like Notts County, are, are unique in terms of how they rotate and the rotations they have in midfield and full-back areas, then there's a good chance, if you do it well, that you can win the ball high up the pitch. But there's a consequence to that in the fact that we had to know that over the course of 90 minutes, they've got good players that at times may play through you with good play or there may be a break of the ball that falls to them in an area that puts you on the back foot. To be fair, um, I don't really think they played through us. Any moments that they had came from a mistake, which again from Ash, which is uncharacteristic, you get away with that one. Um, a break of a, a tackle, a 50-50 that drops them a one pass um, on the inside of Kitch gives the gives uh, Richardson another chance, which again we, we we snuff out the danger. But apart from that, they're the two real moments they had in the game. On 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 the flip side, before those incidents, their keepers made three brilliant saves, and we've really been on the front foot for the rest of the game. Um, which, like I say, when you play against a team that are, are an in possession team like Notts County, to to dominate in the manner that we did and in terms of territory um, is, a, is a big statement. So much praise on the day for, for Paddy Madden and, and rightly so. Another player that caught the eye and received a lot of plaudits was, was Miles Hippolyte. Uh, since coming in he's played just about every position, left back, left wing back, in midfield, on the wing, but he's looked at a really true acquisition by the club. Yeah, he, he has real flexibility, Miles, in terms of positions he can play and, and plays a lot of positions well. Um, Probably if you asked him what his best position was, I think he'd probably have to think about it initially because he is comfortable in, in different different roles. Totally agree. His, his best game he's had for, for us. Um, by, not by a long way because he's been... He's been steady. He's come into a team that's been been doing well and he's more than, more than fitted in. Um, there are always going to be... Over the course of a game, people that get um, more plaudits than others. But I think on Tuesday, although you can point out individuals, I don't. I don't think there was a significant difference in what went on through the the eleven that started the game and and the, and the lads who came on came on to affect it. It was a, a a brilliant performance, a complete performance from all of them that were out there. Um, and like I say, that's the the the, the pleasing aspect that. Um, we produced a, a performance on the pitch that um, matched what had gone on off the pitch before the game, what you managed to see afterwards, and you see all pictures and videos of um, of the atmosphere out, outside the ground. It was, a, it was a great night for us, and similar to what I said in my programme notes, from my perspective, I still think we've raised the bar on, on the pitch and off the pitch, and that's our challenge now. We've, we've 12 league games to go, six of them at Edgley Park. Well, let's try and rank it up in each one of those each one of those six um, but if we produce performances like we did Tuesday we, we stand a real good chance. One thing that you, you've changed over the last couple of weeks is you, you've started introducing a, a goalkeeper on the bench in league games that's something you usually say for, for cup games but I suppose that's a sign that we're at the stage of the season now where every game is like a cup final. 
Yeah, over the course of, of like I say, over the course of a season, I think and I'll be a, an advocate for it in the fact that, especially with five subs, you want to have as many outfield options as you as you can. Um, you come to a point towards the back end of the season, and I suppose there's a little bit of risk reward over the course of forty four games. You may get found out once with, or twice without having a goalkeeper on the bench. Um, we're at a point in the season now, and it would be the same in cup games. Would be the same in uh, playoff games, promotion, all those games that where you have to um, try and minimise risk as much as possible. So, spoke to the players about it quite openly. We're probably at that point now where what you don't want is a an injury or a decision to potentially hamper you and and have a an outfield player going in goal. We're, we're edging closer and closer to where we want to be. So if we can minimise risk as much as possible, which may mean we have to. Uh, make a sacrifice elsewhere in terms of outfield substitutes then then so be it but I, I don't envisage between now and the end of the season that we will have a situation where we don't have a goalkeeper on the bench and just about the run that you're on I'm going to keep throwing the stats at you because they're, they're pretty incredible 17 wins and a draw in the last 18 games in the last 20 league games 17 wins two draws just one defeat you've been a part of a lot of promotions in the past as a manager but have you ever been part of a, a run quite like this before no, it's, 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 it's a good run, a really good run. Um, I think if you're going to be part of successful teams and, and going to be part of teams that I've got promoted, you, you do need to put these type of runs together. Um, it has happened previously. I know, obviously, here last year, I think it was an 18-game unbeaten run, it probably coincided with myself at Hartlepool. We'd, we'd won, I think, maybe it went 16 or 17 undefeated. Um, I know first... Uh, the first year it filed, um, we started the league not so well, and we put a run together through December, January, February, where I think we we won a similar amount of games, or certainly went unbeaten for a similar amount of games. You have to have one of those type of runs normally to get you to the position where we currently sit in the league. Our challenge now is to, um, as we said when we won 10 games on the bounce, and we wanted to make it 11, 12, is to go and set new records and make sure them records that we, we potentially set are records that are difficult for, to break for a long time. The next chance for us comes on, on Saturday and we've got to do everything we can to make sure that's another another win and takes us a step closer to where we want to be. How are you, you finding it all at the minute? Because uh, we spoke last week about a lot of talk externally about, about pressure, but when you look at the performances, when you're here at Carrington and in the environment, you guys seem to, to really be relishing it at the minute. Um, yeah, listen, it's good pressure. Um, there's, without sounding the wrong way, there's teams and, and players within the division that are feeling pressure at the other end and, and their status as a National League club is threatened another way. There are teams that, in the grand scheme of things, don't have an awful lot to play for. Ultimately, you play football to be a winner and, and we've got an opportunity to, to, to be winners and, and, and be successful. Um, so it's a, it's a good pressure. Um, it's something that, like I say, over time you get used to. I think the experience you had previously absolutely stand you in better stead in terms of how you go about things, how you carry yourself, the messages you, you send across to players. Ultimately, we can give them all of the, the information and advice that we want we can't control them all the time. They're away from this environment an awful lot. And we've got to rely on them as good players, first and foremost. But people that have won things previously that know what it takes. Um, and that stands in good stead moving forward. And lastly, just just on Wheelston, a couple of wins in the last two games. And that, that should be enough to, to probably keep them up for another season. A lot of good work being done by Stuart Maynard. What, what kind of game can we expect on Saturday? Yeah, they come into it on probably on a similar run as, as what we they were when we played them down there. They'd had some um, some good wins and, and, and put some performances together. Um, I, like I say, I think f from their perspective, and if, if you're asking me, I, th I think they're, they're they're safe where they are. Um, so it becomes a little bit of a, a free hit for them. I know Stuart and his assistant were at the game on, on Tuesday, so they'll have looked at us and, and be putting a plan together in terms of where they think they can, they can get joy. Um, they try and play. They'll certainly enjoy the pitch at, at, at Edgeley in terms of the surface they'll play on. There'll be plenty of grass and, and water and a good surface to play on. We've got to make sure we don't let them enjoy the surface because we've got the ball most of the time and that's what we've got to, got to try and be. Um, I said it's, it's about replication of what we did Tuesday, but it's about again eking a little bit more out of each other and, and raising that bar a little bit a little bit further um with like i say a big opportunity for us in front of our in front of our home fans so we expect a tough game 
Um, but it's a game that we're looking forward to. We go into full of confidence and hoping to get another three points. Dave, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.